Hey everybody, this is Derek with Income Smasher. Today we're going to go over YouTube channel ideas. So you want to start a YouTube channel and you're trying to figure out, okay, what's the best topic to start one in, all right? So we're going to go over that with you today. We'll show you the top three, if you stay to the end, we'll show you the top three money-making channels that you can do um, if you stay to the end. Now, if you can, hit the like and subscribe button. You know, for any future videos we have coming out, really appreciate it. And let's get started. So YouTube, right? <clears throat> so the first question everybody asks is, you know, should I start a channel now? Is it too late? You know, is YouTube's, you know, and then the question is, yes, you can start a channel and you can do really well. You've got to make good content. You've got to entertain people. Whatever your niche you're going into, you got to really provide value to people, whether it's comedy, vlog, education, cooking, whatever it is, right? So if you look over here, what you can do is if you're trying to get an idea of, you know, what, what to do, you can go and do a Google search and say, hey, what's the most popular YouTube channels? And you can see what different bloggers or different websites say about, hey, what's some good channel ideas that I can do, right? So if you look here, vlogging, you know, is a good one. Um, I looked them up on vidIQ. vidIQ, I'll have that in the description. It's just a, you can do some of it for free, but you usually you have to pay to really get the keyword um, difficulty. So what it does is it tells you, like, let's say you're looking into traveling niche right here, which is another popular one. You can put keywords for traveling in there and you can see how hard it is going to be to rank your video for those different keywords on YouTube. <clears throat> it's called vidIQ. I'll have it in the description. You can check it out. Click the link. Go check it out. See if it's something you want to look into. I use it all the time and it's how I determine if these sites are going to be difficult or not. Vlogging is like a medium. So definitely have opportunity to get into there on a medium difficulty range. Um, so I'll have easy, very easy, difficult, uh, medium difficulty, or hard, or very hard, right? So there's a lot of different ways that they rate these. <clears throat> Traveling niche, so I'm looking down, and that one's going to be hard. So, you know, if you're just doing a general traveling niche, it, it is going to be a difficult one. But if you niche down on some of these, like you say, hey, traveling to Paris, or traveling you know, traveling in France or traveling in Spain. If you just go to one country or one area and you don't do traveling all over the world, you have a better chance of niching down and doing better on YouTube. And then as you travel more and more places, as your channel expands, you can add different places that you've traveled to. But I would focus on one country like France or Spain or Italy or United States or wherever you're traveling. Cooking channel, super competitive. Everybody cooks. Tons of people out there cooking stuff. Now, if you are really a good cook, then you can do really well. So I got this recipe on YouTube from this woman. Uh, she has her own YouTube channel, obviously. And it was sesame chicken. It's the best sesame chicken I've ever had. And so now I liked her, subscribed, and then I look at her other videos because that one was so good. So if you're a really, really good cook and you can get, then you can get in that niche. It's just going to be harder. Anything that's hard takes longer. So what happens is people start doing their cooking channel and then after six months, you know, it's not picking up as much steam, so they just quit. Well, on a cooking channel, you may take a year or a year and a half to really get with consistent videos every week to really get traction. So on some of these, it can be difficult. Comedy, you've seen all the channels, right? Mr. Beast, all these ones. Uh, it's competitive, very high competitive. But if you're super funny, it's a good one to get into. I saw a guy, they got a million subscribers already <coughs> to his channel in, in a year in comedy because he did a really, really good job. Like the way he did it was just incredible. So... And he's really, his videos are funny. <clears throat> you could do animal videos, list videos. These are competitive. 
a boxing review is hard. Um, <clears throat> gaming is hard. Obviously, gaming's been out there for a long time. You know, of the different gamers that make money online. Computer tutorials is, is a medium. News and gossip will also be hard. Do-it-yourself videos. Depends on the niche you go into. This will probably be easy to medium. It just depends on what you're going into. You'll have to look it up uh, once you figure out what channel you might want to do on vidIQ. Uh, channels where you review different products. Again, this could be easy to hard. It just depends on what you're reviewing. Are you reviewing hot tubs? Are you reviewing paddle boards? Are you reviewing cookingware? Like, what are you reviewing? Are you reviewing cameras? That Reviewing cameras is going to be very competitive because that's a high-end product and a lot of people do that. So those are the different ones you can do. Also, I, I don't have it on here, but you can do financing. You can do gardening. Gardening's hard. Martial arts, which is hilarious. Like you would think martial arts or self-defense probably wouldn't be that competitive. Oh, yeah. Super hard. Because uh, I'm in martial arts. I have a martial arts website, like self-defense. And the YouTube videos are crazy. Like, it's very hard to break into that. You've got pet channels. Cats and dogs, they're very high. If you go into some, like, lizards or something niche down, it probably would be less competitive. Um, you can do beauty tutorials, which is also a very competitive one. But if you're really good at putting on makeup and showing people how to hide pimples and do different things, you're, you're, and you give it enough time, your channel could blow up. And then weight loss, right? Another competitive one. Real estate, real estate investing, that's a medium. Um, not overly competitive, something you can do and start a channel into. It just, it, you know, just takes a little bit of time and consistency to do your videos. And you've got to give it time. You can't just do five videos and expect to blow up and be getting a million views. You, it's going to take three months, six months, 12 months. You know, sometimes people put out a couple of videos and one hits and boom, you know, their channel's blowing up a little bit. And then sometimes eight months later, somebody's been doing a video every week and, you know, their channel still hasn't blown up. They're getting views, but it just hasn't blown up. So if you look on YouTube here, so you can go on YouTube and just look up all the different sites that do well, right? Um, Peace Music like people listening to music or, you know, relaxing music on their computer, 2.6 million views in 11 months, right? Living on the most crowded island on earth, 14 million views, right? So different top 10 channels, you know, you can see on here when you go to YouTube. And if you want to see YouTube, like without your skewed, videos that you currently watch, then what you need to do is I would go in and let me see if I can set this up. Okay, I would go to incognito, right? And then when you pull up, it doesn't, your cookies and everything that you've seen before on YouTube or the, the videos you like to watch on, on YouTube, it doesn't skew what you are searching for when you've been searching during the day or whatever, when you go watch YouTube videos. So it gives you a more realistic approach of what people are looking for, right? And as you can see, it has all these different videos on it that do really well. And then you can see maybe what, what does really well and what are you good at and what might be a good channel for you to start. And it gives you a couple ideas. And then what I would do is write down five or 10 of those ideas right? So look at all these different videos you can look at, right? And see, okay, well, maybe I'm good at Minecraft. And then you write that one down. Uh, maybe I'm good at comedy. I'll write that one down. Maybe I'm good at gardening. And you write that one down. Love this guy, Mark Rober. Glitter bomb, hilarious. It, it's so funny. He, he's comedy. And obviously in two months, you know, 31 million views. It's just great. Now, <clears throat> Some of these channels, you know, they review different things like movies and they review different things like that. You got to be very careful with copyright, right? 
especially if you're playing music or other people's video, different things, you've got to make it your own. So you got to really look into that. There's a program that I took. It's a YouTube training. I'll put it into the description. You can check it out. And it is, the training will help you avoid creating a channel and then doing all these videos and then YouTube shutting you down because of copyright laws, right? So I'll put it in the description. If you're interested in doing the YouTube training, uh, you can click that link and go check it out. I took the YouTube training. It's great. It really helped me out a lot. And then really the top three for making money on YouTube is going to be gaming and it's going to be comedy. Okay. And then reviewing products. Really, those are, you know, those are where you can really make your money. The two, comedy and video gaming, they make their money on ads. Reviewing products, you can make a lot of money on affiliate by just recommending products. Like, hey, here's the best camera to do YouTube videos for under 200 bucks. And then you review the camera, you go through the ins and outs, how it works, you show people, you know, why it's good, why it really works good for YouTube, and... And then in the description, you just put a link to it and people go to the link. And then when they buy, you get a small commission. <clears throat> so that is the YouTube channel ideas. If you can hit the like and subscribe button so that you can get notified anytime we have new videos coming out.